really important in the conversations I've had with former national security officials, and, and I, I wonder your thoughts on this, is that we can't protect ourselves without the two major governing parties in the country living in reality, because we can't solve the problem of the threat if we don't both see the threat. How do you see the leadership top-down effort to whip up votes to obstruct a commission ordered by Kevin McCarthy. He sent his, uh, he deputized Congressman Katko to go negotiate the terms that Katko achieved, and then he whipped votes against him. How do you see that from a security perspective? Director Brennan. Oh, okay. Well, I, I think a commission is definitely needed. Um, the, the FBI is investigating crimes that took place on January 6th. Uh, any congressional he hearings, though, are going to be beset by hyper-partisanship within the, the Congress, as we've seen just over this debate. And clearly, I think the Republicans are very concerned that a commission would expose the cancer that has taken root in its party. Also concerned that once that cancer is exposed, it's going to alienate those swing voters that they hope are going to allow them to gain back the, the House and the Senate in 2022. So an independent commission is one that can bring together experts and, and former officials from the government, from the Congress, as, just as the 9-11 Commission did, in order to ensure that there's going to be this objective and fair review of what happened to understand the causes, but also to make recommendations that will prevent a recurrence in the future. Congressman, what do you make of the um, door that Liz Cheney has opened by saying on national television that Kevin McCarthy should absolutely be subpoenaed by um, an independent investigative commission? Um, is this more than just political sort of uh, party politics? Do you think this is um, personal for McCarthy? Well, you might ask yourself why he would have to be subpoenaed, why he wouldn't come forward and tell everything he knows about a violent attack on the Capitol. The answer is because he can't tell the truth. And so I think she's raising that possibility to say he's in a box. Look, can I back up? I mean, not only did Tim Ryan nail every important thing you need to know about their opposition to the to the commission, you also have to consider what they did today, which is 100 percent of them voted against the security supplemental to protect the United States Capitol from a future attack and to support the police. Let me say it again. Fund the police who defend our nation's capital, who on January 6th lost their lives doing that. And those police defend the life of Kevin McCarthy right now, wherever he is. He is flanked by Capitol Police officers who are literally protecting his life. And today they voted to, wait for it, defund the police right here at the Capitol, 100 percent of the Republicans. So I understand why my colleague Tim Ryan is so passionate about this, because the hypocrisy is horrible. But more importantly, the substance matters. We need to know what happened. We're going to appoint distinguished Americans who have no ax to grind, who can dispassionately, without politics, tell us the answers. And we need to protect this building so that school kids can come come here as they always have and not be afraid for their safety so that people can go about their business here and especially so that the police officers have the support and the training and the resources they need to do their jobs and that's what they all voted against today so so i want the american people to know that we are going to hold them accountable for that you know, that's just extraordinary. And, and Director Brennan, it, it gets to this sort of piece that a, a former official was talking to me about. Everyone should want to know what happened to the chatter that the Norfolk FBI office was picking up about what was planned in the same way everybody after 9-11 wanted to know what was in George W. Bush's PDB. I was involved in ultimately declassifying that document. Some of these same people, Mitch McConnell was in the Senate then. I mean, how do you explain the total, uh, they're, they're not even different, they're, they're, they're opposite directions. After 9-11, both parties wanted to know everything and connect the dots and make sure we never did that again. Now you have one of the two parties that doesn't even want to pay to protect the capital that was attacked less than four months ago. Well, again, I think it's because there's a concerted effort among so many members of the Republican Party to suppress the truth, because I think that they understand that the truth is going to hurt them. What happened in the run-up and during mm -hmm. the day of January 6th is really reflective of what the, the Republican Party has been doing, which is agitating based on untruths. 
you know, the big the big steal by Joe Biden and the presidency. So a commission, I think they see as a threat to them. These are the ones that put partisanship above country and above the security of the of the capital grounds itself. And so therefore, as Congressman Maloney said, I think bringing in these respected individuals to have an objective, fair, unbiased and out of that political environment, that is so important. The 9-11 Commission did some great work, didn't agree with everything that they came forward with, but it did expose, I think, a lot of the failures that existed within the U.S. government prior to 9-11. I think this is exactly what we need now to ensure, again, that the U.S. Capitol is never going to be assaulted the way it was on January 6th. Congressman, I want to put you on the spot and ask you to try to explain why Kevin McCarthy is lying about what he did yesterday. So, and correct me if I have any of these facts wrong. He tasked, he laid his hands on Congressman Katko, said, get this done, gave him the parameters. Congressman Katko achieved that mission, got Democrats and Republicans equal representation. Both parties have to sign off on any subpoena, um, which also means that either party could block a subpoena. That was important to the Republicans. Not sure why. Um, but he came out today. Let me play it real quick. Let me play it real quick, because I've got a fact check from Congressman Katko. This Pelosi commission that we tried to work on for quite some time. Remember, I asked Pelosi for one on January 13th. She spent four months just playing politics with it. In that time period, an officer got killed on Good Friday just across with this Capitol. She didn't want to have the scope to do that as well. So that's not true. The commission that was would be formed in the bill that you all passed yesterday could absolutely investigate that attack if they wanted to. Here's Republican Congressman Katko disputing what Kevin McCarthy just said. I want to note that the commission has granted sufficient scope and flexibility to investigate targeted violence and domestic terrorism relevant to the January 6th attack. It will be up to the commission to decide how far they want to go with that, with that imprimatur. Do I feel that the, Capitol, uh, uh, the attack on the Capitol on April 2nd that killed a Capitol police officer is relevant? I do. I hope the commission does too. Do I feel that the June 17th attack on Republican members of Congress relevant to the January 6th attack uh, is, is relevant? I do. And I hope the commission does. They have the flexibility to do so if they want. So that was last night um, as Kevin McCarthy and, and, and Scalise and, and all of his, I guess, new leadership team were whipping up votes against what Congressman Katko created, which was a commission that could absolutely look at those other attacks. Why lie? Because the because because he needs to give cover to John Katko while he while he continues to side with the QAnon conspiracy theorists and the dangerous members of Congress who are controlling that caucus. Because look at because Liz Cheney had to go and the Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greens get to stay and be celebrated for their fundraising and fund the rest of them, which they're doing right now. The tail wagging this dog is is the Donald Trump QAnon crazy wing of the Republican Party. It's dangerous. And so while he's trying to give John Katz, Katko some cover, he is at the same time deep sixing the, the, the fruits of John Katko's work on that committee, which might make you think the whole exercise is cynical, by the way, that they can pretend they want it at the same time as they're trying to kill it. But, but the fact is, is that we have enough adults in the House to get this done. The real question is, what's going to happen in the Senate? And are those senators going to be held accountable uh, for, for their votes? Because right now, right now, we, we can get this going, but we need those votes in the Senate. 